Good morning and a very happy Easter to everyone. No Steph then. Looks that way. I'll check with Alan if I get a chance, see how things are. It's uh, lovely to see so many of you here on this important and holy day to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. More important even than Christmas. More important than Christmas? Why don't we get any presents then? Shh. Because Christmas presents symbolise the gifts the wise men brought the baby Jesus. Whereas Easter is all about the gift Jesus gave us. Eternal life. What does that mean? It uh, means you live for a very long time. Like Granny Clegg. Before we begin, uh, might I remind everyone that our Easter egg competition... Oh, uh, the X Factor. <laughs> ...is being judged tomorrow, so those of you who want to enter a painted egg, you still have time. <gasps> Can I do one? If you're a good girl. Have you started yours? No. You better get cracking, then. May God forgive you for that. I'm sorry, did I miss the meeting where the van became your property to do with as you wish? Yeah, it was in the shower just now, with me, myself and I. You should have been there. <laughs> Give over! I'm doing this for Noreen. She'll lap it up. Where's that big-hearted man of the people we saw yesterday? Am I supposed to acquiesce to those blatantly transparent insincerities? I did think you were shallow enough, yes. Right, well, as you said, that was yesterday. Oh, come on, give them here. Beg me. <laughs> You're joking. Please. You can beg me better than that. Pretty please. Mm. Oh, Eric, my lord and master. Prithee, bestow me with the keys that I might clasp them to my bosom. You're such a child. <laughs> Morning, Adam. Happy Easter. Uh, how's, how's Seth? Same to you, Eleanor. She's OK. She's just... Well, she'll be fine in time, I hope. I, I was thinking of popping round and maybe taking her out for the day. I, I know how hard she works, so the break would do her good. Oh, we're seeing friends of mine for lunch, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, well, perhaps this evening. Mm, you'd be most welcome, but they're the sort of friends who make lunchtime run into dinner time. <laughs> oh, well, another time. No harm done. So, what's your plan? Broad question, isn't it? I'd like to just have some breakfast. Go on. Put my slippers so on. what's your plan with Tony? Hello, cousin. Oh, get old loud ale, why don't you? Right, well, that plan is beautiful in its simplicity. I will never mention my feelings ever again. I'm just gonna bottle them up until they rot away and die. A sad, lonely, inarticulate bachelor slash divorcee. Oh! Oh, oh thank you. It's lovely. Not something you'd hear about his food. It's massive. Not something you'd hear about his. Are you his... following me? Dream on your drip. I'm not staying at home doing a fry up for one. You're lucky having someone to get you an egg, even if it is him. Well, I do have another one. But it's for me dog. Could you be a bigger idiot? Well, I think I'll stop growing, but you never know. The day is still young. Somebody might be demented enough to buy you one. <laughs> Right, Donna, cancel those breakfasts. Come on, Paddy. What? Are you insane? No, I am a genius. Come on. There are more important things than breakfasts. There are not. Are you two winding me up? I'm on my own. What do you want? Make it quick. This had better be good. You wouldn't like one if not had me breakfast. An Easter egg is the answer to your problem, my friend. Oh, yeah. And there may be a selection box for me lunch. Very nutritious. Every year, I get my mother a beautiful big Easter egg. And every year, she loves it. And do you know why? Tell me, do. I'm mesmerised. Because I get a lovely personal message iced onto it. So she knows that her son is thinking about her and cares about her very much. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, those eggs aren't going anywhere. Why 
in the store. Okay. Next pair is for little kids. Hi, I'm a little kid. And a lovely one with that. I think you just might win that giant Easter egg, but don't tell. Good morning, everyone. A vote for me as a vote for a healthy community. So where's the painted lady then? Well, I couldn't persuade her to come after all that, so I brought the bearded gentleman ah. instead. So many willing supporters. Anyhow, lose yourself. You're queer in my pitch. A vote for me yeah. is one less for him. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, get in. I think I will do one. Um, might as well. Funny that. Now you know the surprise. It looks like we've got a bit of competition, Gabby. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop us winning now. <laughs> I think she's been a bit premature there, eh, Vic? Yeah, so do I. We know whose mantelpiece that prize is going to sit on, don't we, Belle? Didn't know you had a mantelpiece. Entering into the spirit is what counts. Yeah, up there with winning and gloating. Ha! Experience versus naivety. Integrity versus petty criminal. I trust you know where to place your crosses. Youth versus decrepitude. Beauty versus the beast. Vote Lambert for a bright future. And a better world. Eric, Val, Dad, kindly remove yourselves and show some respect for what day it is and where you are. Steph, you're creating a ball patch which will draw attention just as readily as anything else. Leave it. It's over. It doesn't feel like it. It's over, Steph. And it's about time you accepted that. Push the pram. Look lively, one of you. You should be resting, though. I'm fine. I'll be able to lie down when you have me stand tomorrow. <sighs> here, let us help. That's what we're here for. Fancy go on the swings, Bello? Are you warm enough? Is she warm enough, Sam? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Tony, will you please go? Out with me. Tony, will you please go out with me? It's not exactly Byron, but I suppose it'll do. <whistles> hello, Harry Prasad. Oh, hello, Wendy Rose from Red Rose Farm. No, 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 no. Of course you can. He's always delighted to speak to you. Okay. Yep, yeah, hang on a second. Hiya, Wendy, you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Are you? Are you not? Not dressed at this time. It is chilly, yeah. Listen, can I just pass you back to Harry? I've got my hands full. Oh! <laughs> no, he's more than capable. I wouldn't have... Oh, no, I... Right, no excellent meetings then yet. See you in a bit. Bye! <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, I was just going to nip over and see me dad. I was just about to uh, cook us some lunch. Right. OK. I won't be long. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you uh, come and give me a hand, hmm? <laughs> you know, I can't peel a potato to save my life. I'd have, I'd have made a lousy surgeon. Right. OK. Chief Drumbeater. Up, oh, fear not, fair leader. I shall return to the arena presently. <laughs> Glad to see you conducting your campaigns in a more befitting manner, at least. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Ashley. It was Pollard. He brings out the badness. 
Ooh, look at him scurrying about. He'll be dragging kiddies out of push chairs next and kissing their noggins. Jealous of them, are you? Have a word with yourself. So I didn't detect a certain frisson between the two of you earlier? Not unless that's French for hate his guts. Maybe. Up and down in his well-tailored suits, with his neat moustache and his way with words. Selfish little gadgy ears and all. And devious as a bag of weasels. Hang on, I think I've got a tissue somewhere. What do you mean? You're practically drooling. I am not. I too. Oh, God, I'm sick. I don't know what he's like, but I can't help myself. I knew you liked him. I think I love him. Here you go. I want your cheapest, nastiest Easter egg. Chaz, Jimmy. Different day, different enemy. That one will do. Okay. Keep the change. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Did you get to share? Too much anger, too little time. <laughs> right, well, we must do it again. <laughs> right, that's this lot, Fred. So little me you are, too, you little rascal. <coughs> Where's his bottle? I'll get it. Oh, Belle, come and get Samson's bottle, would you, love? Then come and see the eggs. Yeah, in a bit. Look, I can walk three steps. Ah, of course you can, but it's here now, look. <laughs> I'm all right with him. I'd like to feed my baby. Well, why don't you let Sam hold him and then you can feed him? Why don't you all stop treating me like I'm as good as dead and start listening to what I say? Is it OK? Can you, can you all just give me a, a few minutes with me son, eh? Uh, Zach? What? Look, thank you. Uh, uh, Sam, Sam, me and Belle need you to get some eggs, love. What? I'm not going far. Look at this, Vic. That's brilliant. A bit old for that, Jack, aren't you? Paint, please, Diane. It's Daz's work. He's got some talent, the lad. What, sucking up? I think that's enough. It's a bit grown up. I'm weird. You loved it before you knew who'd done it. Maybe you should do it yourself. She might not win if she does it herself. Not that bothered. Yes, you are, and that's final. Marlon, more eggs. And here's one for you. Mmm, you need help. Lots and lots of high-quality professional help. If you've got something to say to me, have the bottle to say it to my face. OK. You're weird. I don't like you. And you're a pain in a place I won't specify. But most of all, what on earth is this? <laughs> don't insult my intelligence. Tony, please, will you go? I know it was you. Ah, uh, uh, there might be a slight misunderstanding. Uh, don't defend him, Pads. Is a spiteful, spineless streak of nothing. Gutless. Brainless. I must be, because I haven't given you a whack yet. Well, why don't you go ahead you and stop do it? Stop it, please, both of you. I can't stand it. Uh, he started it. She started it. I started it. The ex from me. Hello, Grace. It's Adam. I'm sorry to bother you at home. No, I, uh, I need to cancel tomorrow's surgery. I, I'm afraid I've come down with something. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel really quite dreadful. I, I wonder if you could arrange some cover. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Grace. Yeah. I'm waiting. It wasn't finished. I was there, icing away. Icing away, and I got a call from Wendy Rolls, and, and she was just 
kept going on about her. her and Harry wouldn't go the pig, so I had to leave it. And when I got there, she, she, like a rash. So I just needed a drink. And Tony, will you go out with me? This is a surprise. What, a bunch of flowers for him and some stranger surprise or actually maniac jumping out of her wardrobe or something surprise? Haven't seen me for a while, have you? Well, no. No, um, uh, well, a bit. Uh, yeah, ages. So those cosy evenings we have in your room, in our pyjamas, all snuggled up. Oh, my God. I'm there thinking what great mates we are. And you're there thinking... I couldn't even begin to tell you what I was thinking. I'll tell you what I think, shall I? Go on. You're sick. Can't believe you take advantage of me like that. Taking advantage of you? You just admitted it! Have I? I haven't. Have I? You were well down on Harry when I told you that I fancied him. Makes sense now, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because he wasn't right for you. All you're doing is pretending to look out for me. When all you want to do is get into my lacy phone. I do not want to get into your lacy. Well, I do, but, you know, in a, in a nice way. I was just, I, want, I was trying to look out for you. Tom, did you say? Do you know what great relationships are built on, Paddy? Trust. And I thought we had it. We do. We did. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it's spice of penny might as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Danny! You, me, taxi, Otten, loads of vodka, now. <laughs> What's up? Everything. That was right, it's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I would just... Call me. Are you all right? You need to get out of the house. What do you say to a week or two away? I only wanted to get to see me dad. Bit of sunshine, chance to recharge our batteries. What do you think? Adam, I can't quite get it straight in my head. Why Terence was here, you know, that night. Well, let me make it crystal clear. He was here to kill you. Kill me? Then why did he attack you? I'd ask him. Only he's dead. I took a man's life for you. And unless you stop talking about it, you're gonna land me in very serious trouble when all I did was defend you against a monster. And if I'm not here for you, Steph, then who is? Your father? He'll never love you like I do. And he can't protect you. Not like I can. Not like I have. You need to lay this to rest. For my sake, as well as your own. Don't you? How's your day been? Come in, sit down, sit down here in this room, please. Okay. So how'd you fare, my young apprentice? Not 100% as he'd have hoped is perhaps the best way of putting it. Yep. All total disaster. 
Right, I'll leave you boys to it. No, 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 come back. Nobody leaves. Katie's needs are greater. See ya. Look at it this way, Paddy. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, you know? I mean, you're no worse off than you were this morning. This morning, I had no girlfriend, but I did have a dream and a shred of dignity. I still have no girlfriend, but now I have no dream and no dignity. Oh, and everybody down the pub thinks I'm a sexual predator. So, yes, I'm considerably worse off than I was this morning, thanks to you two. But that's hardly fair. What have I done? If you'd have just kept your rubbish Dr. Love Master advice to yourself, and even if you didn't, if you weren't such an object of hatred to Tony, then I'd be fine, maybe. You would be exactly the same as you are now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, correction. I would still be alone, yes, but I would have believed, however stupidly, that I might still have stood a chance with Tony. Maybe you still do. No, I don't. And now, as an extra special bonus, kick in the teeth, I've also lost her as a friend. Me and Tony, there is no me and Tony, and there never will be. Off with my mouth!